All right, so the artist that we've been studying is Vincent van Gogh, one of the most famous artists in the world. And specifically, we are looking at his painting that looks like this. This is a painting that he created that is a painting of his bedroom. He didn't have a lot of money, so he painted a lot of paintings of himself, his home, his bedroom, things that he were just available to him to paint. And this one's really famous because of the way that he was able to make this room look like it's popping off the page a little bit. You can see the end of the bed is much bigger than the top of the bed, and that is to give the illusion that it is coming at you. So we're going to create a piece of art today that is inspired by this painting and is 3D. So let me share my screen here and I'll show you what we're doing. You need a piece of paper and scissors and something to draw with. If you have glue, that's awesome and you might need it depending on what you're planning on doing, but you'll see as we go. So start with your blank piece of paper and the first thing you need to do is fold it in half this way, hamburger style, not hot dog. Fold it in half. If your fold is not perfect, don't get upset about it. It happens. Just do the best you can with your fold. Now, while it's still folded, I want you to pay attention to where is the open side and where is the closed side. Where is the fold? Where does it open? You're going to want to find the folded side. Point to it so you know this is the folded side because we're going to make a cut in our paper. And if you do it on the open side, then it's not going to work. You need to do it on the folded side. So on the side that's folded, have it facing you so you know this way where it is and get something to write with, whatever you have, pencil, marker, whatever you're gonna use. And I want you to draw two lines. These two lines are going to be the basis for the main feature of this room that you're going to create. If you are planning to create a room where the main thing in the room is a table, think about that. If it's a bed, you probably want your lines to be wider apart. If it's a tall chair or bookshelf, maybe you want your lines to be closer together and taller. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to put my lines about that far apart. Just two lines. Don't go too high up on the paper. It'll get crazy. Keep them fairly low. Don't go above halfway. So two lines parallel straight as you can and they have to touch your folded side, okay? Make sure it's your folded side. Okay, I'm sure. Now we're going to cut. You're just gonna cut those two lines. One, two. So now your paper will look like this. You've got this little flap here on the folded side. Now here's a part where it can get kind of tricky, so pay attention. You are going to open your paper, but only halfway. I don't wanna open it up totally flat. But what you're gonna do is where you did that fold and you did the cut, from the back folded side, you're gonna push it forward so it pops through to the front. All I did was push it with my finger so that it pushes forward and it's coming out. Now that it's pushed out, push, push, I'm gonna fold my paper closed again, but now that piece of paper is gonna be on the inside. So I'm gonna push and squish, push it forward and squish it shut. So now I can't see my little thing here because it's on the inside. So you should have this on the folded side now, okay? So that when you open it up, it looks like that. If you need to rewind this or pause this at any time, rewatch it, please do so because that can be kind of confusing. I pushed it forward, squished it shut, and now I can open it. So now I have this little piece of paper that's popping out right here, 3D, popping off of our paper. And our piece of artwork is actually going to be a standing piece of artwork. If you are using art paper and it's thicker paper, it should stand up pretty much by itself. If your folds were really strong and you really pressed on them, it should stand up on its own, no problem. If you are using thinner paper, like computer paper or lined paper, if that's all you have, if you're using a thinner paper, you might find your paper is not standing up don't feel bad, you can get another piece of paper and glue it on the back of this, lay it flat, glue it around the edge, not this part, but if you put glue around the edge of your paper, put another piece of paper and folded it shut. Now, 
Now you'll have two pieces of paper that'll make your paper strong. So if you need to do that, you can. If you don't want to do that, then you might just have to have your artwork and when you're ready to display it, you'll have it pushed up against a wall or something else where you can lean your paper backwards. So those are a couple of options for you if you have thin paper and it's not standing up on its own. So now it's time to decorate our room. You can do anything you want in this space. So think about how you want this to be. What kind of room is it? If you want to have more 3D things popping out, you can do the same thing. Cut some more little lines on either side and have those pop out. And then you're gonna go in, so if mine is say a chair, I'm gonna lay my paper flat to do my drawing. My chair, this will be the seat. Maybe I'll add some legs coming down. Like that, and then the back of the chair comes up. This is just what mine looks like. Yours does not have to look like this. Maybe the thing that's popping out on your page is a bed, is a table, a bookcase. Use your imagination. It can be anything. You can have a little dollhouse maybe, and you can make this a house. You can make this a house, and you, if you don't want to draw a picture that's inside of a room, pretend yours is outside. Maybe this is the beginning of a mountain that's outside and all around is the grass and kind of a square mountain popping up. You can do anything you want. So I made a little chair. So I'm going to go through and start adding some other little decoration things around in my room. And then I'm going to come back and tell you how you could add more 3D things onto this. Okay, obviously I still want to add color and more things like that. I'm envisioning from my room, it's kind of an art making room. So this is the chair I would sit on. I started doodling some pieces of art that would be hung on the wall. I'm gonna have a rug right here, but I think I need a side table right here for my art supplies. So I'm gonna close my paper again, draw two lines, cut those two lines, open halfway and push, push, push forward, and then fold closed. The lower your lines are, like mine was smaller, it's a little bit trickier to push closed, but you can do it and squish and press. There we go. So now I've got a little table that I can put some art supplies on. Maybe here's a palette of paint and some paint brushes. Now, there's something else that I wanna show you that you can do. And if you think of something that you wanna add way over here, if I wanna add a table in the middle of my room, I can't cut the fold because it's way out in the middle. Take a scrap piece of paper that's small. So all I did to get this small piece of paper is I took a bigger piece of paper and I just cut a piece of it out. So you're gonna take a smaller piece of paper and what you're going to do is I want you to remember when we drew some bubble letters and 3D letters, and you're gonna make a bubble letter I. So watch what I do here. I'm gonna do line on top, line on bottom, two lines in the middle. Now I'm gonna 
make the outside edge come around the corner, come around the corner. Okay, I made the letter I. If you think that the middle part of your eye is too thin, you can make it wider, but it's just an eye. Cut out the eye. Right, I cut out my eye. Now, this is the cool part. Take this eye, not your eye eye, this eye, and we are gonna take these four edges, here, 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 and here, and we're gonna fold them in like that. Fold in, fold in, just like that. So now it's just a line. But now when I open those back up, not flat, just a little bit, I have made myself a little table. And you can glue this in place if you would like to. If you want it to be movable, you can just decorate it and have it be a table that you can move around your space. Let me angle my camera a little bit more so you can see it better. There we go. So here's my room. I'm still going to add color. I'm still going to add more drawings and things going on inside of this room. But this is the basic setup for this little room that I've made. I've got a little table down here, chair, table over here, and art on the wall. So your room that you make can be anything you want. Sky's the limit. You could have a game room. You could have a fantasy room where maybe there's a unicorn in there. I don't know. Up to you. So let me know if you have any questions about this and I can't wait to see them. So take pictures, show me what they look like. I'm sure you're gonna have some amazing rooms and I cannot wait to see.